Omega, stylized as Omega, is a launch vehicle in development by Northrop Grumman as an NSSL replacement program intended for national security and commercial satellites. Omega is similar to the defunct Ares I and Liberty projects, both of which consisted of a five segment Space Shuttle Solid Rocket Booster and a cryogenic second stage. Ares I would have combined a five-segment SRB with a J2X-powered second stage, while Liberty would have used a five-segment SRB with the core stage of the European Ariane 5 as a second stage. By comparison, Omega consists of Space Shuttle-derived solid stages with a cryogenic upper stage provided by Aerojet Rocketdyne replacing earlier plans to use an upper stage provided by Blue Origin. It is intended to be launched from Kennedy Space Center LC-39B or Vandenberg Air Force Base SLC-2. Omega is proposed as a vehicle to launch national security satellites for the United States Air Force, and could launch other government and commercial payloads, including to geostationary transfer orbit. Crewed spacecraft could also be launched, just as the predecessor Ares I and Liberty rockets, which were designed to launch the Orion space capsule. Development was to start once the Air Force reached a funding decision. In October 2018, the Air Force announced that Northrop Grumman was awarded $792 million for initial development of the Omega launch vehicle. topic history In January 2016, Orbital ATK, now Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems, was one of two companies awarded funds by the United States Air Force to develop technologies to eliminate dependency on the Russian-made Road 180 rocket engine. The award was worth an initial $46.9 million, with an option for up to $180.2 million total. This is to be matched by $31.1 million initially, and up to $124.8 million in company funds if all options of the contract are exercised. The contract would fund the development of three technologies in support of the Omega rocket, then called Next Generation Launcher, the GEM-63XL strap-on booster, the shuttle-derived common booster core and an extendable nozzle for the BE-3U upper stage engine. A previous effort, funded by NASA, demonstrated the technology for a composite motor case for shuttle-derived boosters to replace the metal motor cases used during the Space Shuttle program. In May 2016, Orbital ATK revealed their plans for the next generation launcher, including the configuration and the intended business case. In addition to relying on shuttle-derived boosters, the next generation launcher intends to make use of existing launch infrastructure at Kennedy Space Center KSC, including the vehicle assembly building used by the Space Shuttle, with the possibility of polar orbit launches occurring from Vandenberg Air Force Base. NASA began looking for commercial users to operate unused space within the Vehicle Assembly Building in June 2015, and by April 2016, it was announced that Orbital ATK was in negotiations to lease High Bay 2. Orbital ATK claimed that a minimum of five to six launches per year would be required to make the rocket profitable. Full development and introduction will be dependent on both demand and funding from the U.S. Air Force. A final, go, no go decision to proceed with full development and introduction of the next generation launcher is planned to take place between late 2017 and early 2018. In April 2017, Orbital ATK revealed that Omega would be launched from Pad 39B at KSC, sharing launch facilities and mobile transporter with the NASA Space Launch System (SLS). The rocket would compete for USAF national security launches and NASA missions. 
There would be multiple configurations of the launch system, with multiple stages. In April 2018, Orbital ATK announced that Next Generation Launcher would be named Omega. Additionally, they revealed the selection of the RL-10C engine over Blue Origin's BE-3U competitor. The intermediate configuration, with a Castor 600 first stage, increased payload to GTO from 8,500 kg to 10,100 kg the Castor 1200 powered heavy configuration increased geo payload from 7000 kg pounds to 7800 kg pounds in October 2018 Omega was awarded a launch services agreement worth $791,601,015 to design build and launch the first Omega rockets Topic: Multiple configurations. The rocket will have two basic configurations: an intermediate and a heavy launch. The intermediate version will have a two-segment shuttle-derived solid rocket booster (SRB) first stage with a liquid hydrogen-fueled upper stage. The heavy configuration will be a three-stage vehicle, including a four-segment SRB first stage, a single-segment SRB second stage, and the same cryogenic upper stage. Additional versions are projected to add additional SRBs as side boosters. The SDLV SRBs are to share avionics suites with other orbital ATK rockets to reduce costs. Topic. See also Ares I, a proposed Constellation program rocket based on an SDLV SRB derived first stage and a Saturn V derived J2X based second stage. Liberty rocket, a proposed rocket based on an SDLV SRB derived first stage and Ariane 5 derived Vulcan 2 based second stage.